Hello everyone, welcome to our final video for our Book of Acts series. Before we get to that though, um, since today is September 11th, I thought I'd start us off with just a, a short special time of prayer about that. Uh, so would you join me in prayer for a moment? Father, it is hard to believe that it has already been 13 years since 9-11. Um, Father, even just saying those words, 9-11, still brings up so many emotions for so many people. And we pray for those who lost loved ones that day. You would continue to pour out your peace and your comfort um, for them, especially today. Be with them in a special way. Pray for our country as a whole, God, that we would follow the path that you would have us take daily. And that when we get off that path, that that you would help us to get back on it so we can have the best. Pray for our leaders that you'd give them wisdom, that they would fear you and, and seek to honor you in their decisions, that they would reject any counsel that goes against um, what you would have them do and, and follow you. Pray for um, our military. Thank you, God, for so many individuals that give so much to, to protect our country and make sure things like 9-11 don't happen again on our soil. God, would you bless them and their families, each and every one of them. And thank you so much for this country that, that they defend. We certainly don't always get it right perfectly, but God, thank you for all the blessings we have, all the freedoms we enjoy. Um, thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, this morning we are finishing Acts chapter 28, uh, starting with verse 17 and going through till verse 31 says this, three days later, after where we left off last time, Paul called together the leaders of the Jews in Rome there. When they had assembled, Paul said to them, my brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or against the customs of our ancestors, I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and wanted to release me because I was not guilty of any crime deserving death. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, not that I had any charge to bring against my own people. Uh, for this reason, I have asked to see you and talk with you. It is because of the hope of Israel, the Messiah, right, Jesus, that I am bound with this chain. They replied, we have not received any letters from Judea concerning you, and none of the brothers who have come from there has reported or said anything bad about you, but we want to hear what your views are. For we know that people everywhere are talking against this sect. They arranged to meet Paul on a certain day, and came in even larger numbers to the place where he was staying. From morning till evening he explained and declared to them the kingdom of God, and tried to convince them about Jesus from the law of Moses and from the prophets. Some were convinced by what he said, but others would not believe. They disagreed among themselves and began to leave after Paul had made this final statement. Listen to this. He said, The Holy Spirit spoke the truth to your forefathers when he said through Isaiah the prophet, Go to this people and say, You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. <clears throat> Therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will listen. <clears throat> Verse 30, For two whole years Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. Boldly and without hindrance, he preached the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord. Jesus Christ. I love how Acts 28 ends there, uh, with Paul just continuing to do what it was that defined his life, right? Whether incarcerated or free, whether at home or abroad, Paul's life was always all about being the church, right? All about preaching Jesus, sharing the gospel. And as we close this up, man, I just pray that the same would be true of us. I pray that all these things, you know, as we've studied Acts so in-depth, as we've taken all these notes about all these principles, man, I pray we wouldn't leave those on the pages of our study guides. I pray we would get them into our lives and go actually do them. I pray we'd go be the church just like Paul was, that, that as Speaker Nick Voyagech says, wherever we are, 
that we would stand at the gates of hell and redirect traffic. You know, that we would seek to bring Jesus to our co-workers and classmates and family members and our, our communities, wherever we may be, wherever we may go, that we would bring Jesus to them and hopefully see their lives saved and transformed and saved from hell for eternity by this awesome Savior we have. I pray that if the book of Acts were still being written today, that the verses about us would be ones worth reading. And that we'd keep making disciples who make disciples who make disciples until either Jesus comes back or our personal time on this earth ends and we see him face to face and, and hear him say, well done, you completed the mission I gave you. Would you pray with me? God, that is my prayer, that we would be your church. We have seen so clearly through Acts what you designed church to be, what you designed the the everyday life of a follower of Christ to be. God, help us to be doers of your word, not just people who hear what it has to say. Help us go be the church, make those disciples. And, and as I said, if, if Acts were still being written, I pray the verses about us would be honoring to you, God, and worth reading. Help us go and make disciples like Paul did, boldly and without hindrance. Because you're with us, Jesus, when we do. Thank you for this incredible study that you gave us. Thank you for this amazing book. I pray we live lives uh, just worthy of this calling you've given us, Jesus. In your awesome name, amen.